It's Thursday. That means it's Love Hate Day. Secret Squirrel, what do you got for week number one? First up, Marcus Mariota. Consensus rankings for week one is QB9 at home versus the Raiders. Was he love or is he a hate? This guy is a absolute love. He's a love for the season. He's a love this week at home against the Raiders. Look, last season, Marcus Mariota did what all good quarterbacks do against bad defenses. He feasted on them. 21 fantasy points a game against defenses that ranked in the bottom half of the NFL against quarterbacks. Look, and let's face it, the Raiders are a bad team. One of the worst defenses in the NFL last year, ranking in the bottom half of the NFL in terms of passing yards per game, passing touchdowns allowed, fantasy points allowed to opposing quarterbacks here. I think Mariota, with his new weapons, has a huge game at home against the Raiders. All right, that's who uh, Mariota is. Who's next? Next up, Dak Prescott. Week one consensus rankings have him tied for QB 12. Is he a love? Is he a hate? Unfortunately, I think Dak is a hate this week. Look, one of the biggest reasons why is that the Giants' second toughest defense in the NFL last season against opposing fantasy quarterbacks. They allowed just 15 passing touchdowns all season long, second fewest in the NFL. I don't think people realize how good the G-men were. And they were especially tough on Prescott last season. Even in that magical Dak Prescott season, Dak scored just 17 fantasy points combined in two meetings against the Giants here. You know, I think Dez is going to be shut down here. So, yeah, I don't think Dak gets into the end zone with his legs where a lot of his fantasy value came from last year. Dak, outside my top ten, he makes the hate list. All right, Secret Squirrel, what do we got next? Next up, Carson Palmer on the road in Detroit. Consensus rankings has him tied with Dak as QB 12. Is he a love or is he a hate? Carson Palmer is a love. And he's Again, if, if you don't have Jameis Winston this week, if you don't have uh, Andrew Luck this week, Carson Palmer, still available more than 50% of ESPN.com leagues, is a guy that you should go out and get. He'll have a very nice game here against a Lions defense, frankly, that's, that struggled. They allowed 33 passing touchdowns last year, tied for second most in the NFL. Or, I'm sorry, just second most. They, no one was tied for them, Secret Squirrel. Your Lions gave up a lot of passing touchdowns. Wow. Again, Carson Palmer, who's looked great this preseason, fully healthy, tough year last year. But again, two years ago, guy was a top five fantasy quarterback. So now in a prime matchup, and somebody who has started hot even last year when everything was so bad for Carson Palmer, he was still a top six fantasy quarterback. I love Palmer as a top ten play this week. 